Good evening, Mall Raiders. This is Southern 207 giving you an update for October 4th on the current layout progress. I have finally gotten around to getting, start getting some more track laid. This is the upper level staging yard. Previously, I only had right to here laid. And, well, these two tracks laid. All the switches and these several of the pieces of flex track I recently stripped the layout that I bought for no joke on this guys. And this is one of those dumb luck vines on Marketplace. I only paid 20 bucks for a 4x8 layout, which I still have. But it's already been I've already stripped of all the track. Most of the switches were not the cheap ones. For those of you and Vinny probably not recognize this sucker right off the bat. It's an Atlas number four and a half switch. Which is our standard switch. Got 40 of them. Plus a buttload of flex track. A couple of other odds and ends. And I basically a lot of parts I needed for 20 bucks. Well, come to find out, I also had an HO, some HO stuff. Well, this is where it gets hilarious, guys. I ended up doing a complete horse trade. Everything, way everything worked out, I ended out up on the winning end. With almost seven hundred dollars worth of track, <laughs> so needless to say, I'm not complaining. But as soon as the staging yard's done, which, as you can see, is still quite a ways off, because right now I'm only gonna do five tracks. Next goal is to clean the entire upper deck off again and prep it to do an op session. Of switching but as far as other stuff I've been picking up I've been picking up a lot of connectors and such circuit boards those are also on an Amazon item that I picked up which for those of you who are wondering which kit Elgu. And this is that one that come. You get five different sizes from them. The other one that I picked up, which is one of the handiest little circuit board, little circuits you can find, is the NE555. I see. 50 of them. As well as a bunch of other miscellaneous bits and pieces I need. And you, as previous, I've shown you guys the circuit PC board that I'm using for ties and such. But as it stands right now, the, I'm doing the trying to squeak out a little bit each day. But we all know how realistic that is when you have a full time job. And this week. I worked at seven seven o'clock to three this afternoon, which included unloading a damn produce truck. Of course, it showed up right at three o'clock. But that's the nature of the beast for you. But next stage is gonna be to finish get everything around here cleared off. And start doing some switching. I still need to install a runaround somewhere through here. Which, if anybody wants to kick in a little bit of advice right now. Where, where would you put it? Since I got trailing point and facing point moves on here. Facing point, facing point, trailing point. And you factor in, you're going to be bringing cars in this way. 
So if you got could ideally come in with the locomotive trailing first and the car behind you, yes, it would work. But near shard's gonna be way down here on the main deck. Unless somebody else has a suggestion on how to do it. If I should put a small local yard in to cover two different areas. Now, with that being said, next major project is going to be getting the town built in here after the yard, along with the scenery up through here. Which, as far as the shed update goes, I'm going to be getting, starting to look at sheds here in the next month or so. I'm not exactly certain which one I'm going to go with yet. I'm still leaning towards... The one closest to our buddy, Wilbur Mall Railroading, which I've been talking with him about his shed, and he's given me quite a few good ideas. <clears throat> and I've also given him a few ideas. But, next major project, like I said, is going to be the town. Then, some... I'm not certain if I'm going to still do the steel mill or not. I know there will be a power plant right over in this vicinity here. Because you all, with any coal-fired power plant, you need a steady supply of water. And what just so happens to be right next to where I'm planning a building it, a river scene. So it makes sense. And as far as that next thing goes, which is right in here, has a huge question mark. So I might end up just doing another yard here. But that yet remains to be seen what happens there. Now, as far as what else is in the works, of course, finishing the lower level as time might permit. Which the way things are looking, guys, I only have Fridays. And Sunday's off, unless I schedule it in advance. So, yes, I'm a glutton for punishment, but you know what? You gotta make the money, we can make the money. But, next pro... It's like I said, it's just a long going project, and all I can do is bite as much as I can chew as, as time permits. Anyway, guys... This video is going on in about 8 minutes now. And as far as the upcoming shows go, I'm still scared. I'm praying that we still get, that we don't have any more COVID shutdowns. If we don't, I can do Chantilly, Virginia Beach, and Richmond. Which is all within about 4 to 5 weeks apart of each other. Yes, again, more people gone for punishment. Uh, anyway, enough rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Southern 207 out.